Hi, I'm Kate Richberg, Director of Education here at Beeducation.com, and today it's all about the rubber block. So here's the rubber block. You can see it's a square rubber block that has some, some thickness to it. I use this rubber block um, for several different things when I'm making jewelry. Um, a lot of times I like to have a little support underneath what I'm filing and the rubber block helps me to hold this piece in place while I'm actually filing the edges of my metal. The rubber provides a nice non-skid surface for my metal so it doesn't move around when I'm filing it. I also like to use it when I'm filing and working with my PMC pieces. PMC is pretty fragile in this state, so if I do drop it when I'm filing it, um, it'll land on the rubber block and um, the drop hopefully will be cushioned, as well as it's a nice soft um, support uh, for my PMC when I'm actually doing the filing and finishing techniques on my PMC pieces. I also like using this rubber block as a base when I am using my flex shaft drill. Um, I keep one side nice and pristine for when I am filing, but the other side I can turn it over and I can place my piece of metal on there. And as I use my drill, the drill, the tip of the drill bit can drill right into the rubber block without harming my work surface. Um, it doesn't really harm the block to drill into it, but you'd want to save one side for drilling and the other side for filing.